Hi. Um, so over the last week or so, I've seen two different um, dog training videos on Facebook, um, which in some respects have a lot of similar similarities and in other respects are completely different. Um, so both involve um, dogs of similar uh, breed type and both are displaying the same kind of behavioural issues, which uh, is uh, displaying aggressive behaviours in the presence of other dogs. And both were in similar environments, so open spaces with other dogs around and about. Um, in the first video, the dog was given time and space to make good decisions, and those decisions were reinforced and supported. Um, and that led, in the course of the video, to the dog being able to have a couple of um, brief but um, socially appropriate interactions with strange dogs. In the second video, um, the, any, there was no evidence of any good choices that the dog made being reinforced, but any choices that were deemed to be bad by the trainer were corrected um, and the dog was wearing an e-collar and a prong collar and was also being um, kicked by the owner um, under the instruction of the trainer. Um, now, the dog didn't show any aggressive behaviours so those um, corrections may have uh, potentially stopped any aggressive behaviours in the moment. But for both of those dogs, thinking ahead to the future, which of those dogs is likely to grow in confidence and begin to see other dogs not as something to worry about, not as something anxiety inducing, but as something that they have the social skills to cope with? Um, so which of those dogs is likely in the future to become a more confident dog as a result? And which of those dogs is going to um, come to potentially come to see other dogs as being a cue for not only anxiety and possibly fear, but also um, they now become a cue for um, painful or aversive um, corrections. So it's not enough to think about what our training, we, we need to think beyond what our training is doing in the moment and think about what our training is going to do to our future dog. Um, because to be honest, I found that second video, it was hard to watch. It was really hard to watch. The dog was shut down. Um, body language was, it just wanted to be anywhere other than where it was. And it's hard knowing that that's that dog's future. Um, when there are other options. Um, so, when you're working with your dog or you're working with a trainer, don't just think about what is happening in the moment because stopping behaviour in the moment is not, it potentially is going to have long-term ramifications for your dog and their future life. So, um, anyway, just some thoughts um, about the juxtaposition between two apparently similar but hugely different videos. Um, so any questions, comments, put them below and um, have a lovely day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.